get to the point and let everybody else get back to it. Hey, welcome to the Tom Ferry Show. Today, I wanna to talk to you about one of the biggest challenges I see people facing every single day, and that is, Tom, how do I get more stuff done in less time? So I started looking at what do I do, what do the vast majority of the best people I work with do, and there's basically six hacks, six little things that you can do, slight adjustments that you can make to absolutely optimize your time, to give you more time for fun, for family, for joy, for happiness, and to maximize your time at work. So the very first one, no order of importance, is a simple question that I ask myself before every meeting or anything that is in my schedule, and that is, what is my outcome? What is my outcome? So, hey, I'm going into a coaching session. I'm going on a listing presentation. I'm gonna go meet with my assistant. What is my outcome? See, most people, they don't have an outcome, an end result, a bullseye, what it is that they want to accomplish. So you know what they do? They schedule a 30 minute meeting, an hour meeting, a two hour meeting, and they just shoot the shit. You know what I'm talking about? They just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. I want to be highly productive, highly focused, get to the point and let everybody else get back to it. Does that make sense? So question number one is, hey, what is my outcome? What is the specific measurable end result that I want from this meeting, from this phone call, from this appointment, and that I laser focus on that and I don't have an attachment to the time of what it says in my schedule. So that's number one. Number two, I'm a big fan of creating your best day ever, which means you take the time to say, this is what my ideal schedule should look like. And we know you've got your morning routine, you've got your generating side, which is your appointments and your 5542s, and you know, going on presentations, helping clients, managing transactions, and then you've got an evening routine. And I literally say to myself, if it's not in my schedule, it doesn't exist and doesn't get done. If it's not in my schedule, it doesn't exist and doesn't get done. And you might say to me, Tom, wait a minute, is that really a hack? The answer is yes. Because I guarantee if I came through this camera right now and said to you, show me your schedule for the next week, show me your schedule for the next month, show me your schedule for the next 12 months, the vast majority of people don't do it. What if I told you that in September, October, I plan out the entire year. Here's every family experience, here's where our getaways, here's birthdays, here's holidays, everything is planned out. Then I say to my team, what is the highest and best use of my time? Where should I go? Who should I meet with? What is the outcome? What is the result? So my entire year is planned. If your entire year was planned, guess what you're gonna find out? It's a serious hack, because the only stuff that's in your schedule has an outcome, has a clear end result in mind, and you know it's gonna be the highest and best use of your time. Which leads me to number three. I wrote down the following. The only stuff that should be in your schedule is income creating activities when we're talking about work. Income creating, I heard an old acronym a million years ago, the only thing that should be inside your schedule is your plan, you know, prospect, do lead follow up, go on appointments and negotiate and get deals done. Follow your plan. But that means, I wrote down the following, you ready? You should never be going to lunch. Lunch is a waste of time. Have the food delivered. The actual you know, meal is seven, eight minutes, 10 minutes if you're really doing good and chewing all your food, but it takes an hour and 20 minutes to decide where you wanna go, what you wanna do. It's a waste of time. Does that make sense? I'd rather eat in my office, eat my food real quick, and get back to work so I can go home and be with my family and accomplish my goals. Does that make sense? But I also wrote down, what about maybe hiring a virtual assistant? Someone that could manage all of your listing launches or quite honestly, anything that could be automated should be outsourced. Anything that can be automated should be outsourced. Think about all the stuff that you do all the time. I, it's 2019. Do you know I know people that like pay bills? Like with checks? and like lick and stick and envelopes and mail them out. When we're living in a world today where you can just automatically transfer the money directly through your checking or your savings account, like anything that can be automated, you should be taking advantage of. You shouldn't be doing anything that's just sucking up your time that somebody else could be doing at eight, nine, 10, $15 an hour. Does that make sense? We wanna make sure that our schedule's full of our plan, our prospect, our lead follow-up, our going out appointments and our negotiations, and then the balance of time taking care of our family, going out and having some fun. Make sense? All right, also, side note, on number three, I wrote down, hey, 
college interns. Summer's coming up in a few months. I'm already thinking about how many interns I want to get from the college where my son's going, the high school where my son's at, and literally arming myself with a bunch of social rock stars, maybe some smart engineers, maybe some salespeople, all these people that want to come and work essentially for free to get experience. Are you taking advantage of that? If you're not, that's a serious hack on your time. Number four, this will sound simple, but I very rarely am doing this anymore. I'm now just only talking to that AI called Siri. Siri, call this person. Siri, do this. Siri, do that. Siri, edit my schedule. Siri, text Ruby and remind her ABC123. And as simple as that sounds, it's an easy little hack that I don't see enough people using. Siri exists, Google Voice, whatever it is you want, but here's the little gem that I have. Everything I have is then saved in Evernote. You know, there's an app called If This Then That, I-F-T-T-T, -T -T, I think it is, If This Then That, where you can set it up that says, anytime I email an idea, it automatically saves it in Evernote for you. Take the time to look at, it's brilliant. I don't wanna be doing this, I wanna do a voice and have it sent and it saves me time. Easy one, right? Here's what I also wrote down. Number five, do you sit in traffic ever? What a waste of time. Now, I understand we got to get from point A to point B. I get it, right? Anywhere in the world, there's going to be traffic. But my question for you is, is that the highest and best use of your time? Or should you be sitting in the back seat of a Lyft or an Uber or maybe taking the train, a little public transportation, so you can actually make your phone calls, do your work, listen to an audiobook, read, do something productive. I talk to people that are in their car for you know an hour every single day, 30 minutes back and forth, sometimes two, and I think to myself, with what you earn per hour or what your potential is to earn per hour, sitting behind a wheel in a stressful situation with your foot on the gas and your foot on the brake, that's horrible. You should be sitting in the back of the making phone calls, following up on your clients, sending videos, loving on your prospects, loving on the people inside your database, getting out of the car when you get home or you get to the office and you're ready to go. You've already done 30, 40, 50 minutes of highly productive time. Does that make sense? But Tom, that costs money. Sell your damn car, right? Use Lyft, use Uber, use something to get your time back and that freedom versus sitting in the car and having to stressfully drive. So the last one, number six, and the one that is given me more free time, more opportunity to create, more opportunity to make more money, more opportunities to be with my family and to do the things that I love, is I get up earlier than everybody else. Yes, think about it, right? The vast majority of people are sleeping in till seven o'clock, watching TV till midnight. I'm not sure what they're thinking, but they're not like people like you and I who wanna be highly productive, highly effective. We know if you get up at 4.45 or five o'clock in the morning, something like that. And you might be saying, whoa, Tom, that's early. But here's the thing, all that additional time that I pick up to do my exercise, do my gratitudes, make some phone calls, send some emails, review my schedule, look at my dreams, to read, to listen to an audiobook at one and a half or two times the speed while I'm getting ready, it's so powerful. Totally just thinking about this. Um, I had the good fortune for about a year and a half to work out at the same gym, myself, his trainer, and my trainer, super early in the morning, a guy named Kobe Bryant. Yes, the black mamba. It was unbelievable. And you know what? Sometimes I'd get to the gym and it'd be four o'clock in the morning because I just got up and I was ready to go and I wanted to start the day. And I remember walking in and there he was already doing cardio. And I'm like, man, is this what you do when you get up in the morning? He's like, when you wake up, you get up and you start. Too many people hit the snooze button on their entire life and they hit it over and over and over. When you're up, get up, get to work. So what if you have to go to bed at nine o'clock or eight o'clock that night? It doesn't make a difference. You and I both know early bird gets the worm. You want to get more out of your day? You want to get more out of your life? Get your butt out of bed earlier. And you know what you're going to find? Way more productivity, way more income, and a way better quality of life. Thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to read the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. And remember always your strategy matters and now more than ever, the hacks you use to get your life back and your time is what absolutely rules.